to hit on volatility, point number three, as I said yesterday, it is signaling higher lows. Okay, so we have a nine point, what do we have here? 9.78 to 1539. That is the risk range, 15.39. So this is the risk range, okay? Risk range at hedge eye, okay? Copyright, until I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Risk range at hedge eye, that is your range. That's the batter's box. As you'll note, if you've ever batted in the batter's box, if you had a batter's box that was three standard deviations wider than the normal batter's box and the plate, the strike zone, you would say, wow, it's harder to hit the ball. Yeah. The guy could throw the ball like three feet past my, my bat. <laughs> Strike out. Wow. So think about that. When the wrist range is widening, it's harder. When the wrist range is narrowing, the strike zone, let's say that the strike zone, which it had been, the strike zone was like nine to 10 on the VIX. Okay, now you gotta, you gotta throw it like right, like within the minuscule spot of, that, of the heart of that plate to get a strike. Now that's hard to get me out. You're gonna probably walk me. I'm just gonna get on base, keep going, keep going. That's why even I can generate returns in a low volatility environment. So again, a monkey could do that. You know, when, when volatility widens, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 